Some would say this is a big game. Game on. Please educate me. <laughs> no, man, what I'm do not I not know? I'm not saying anything, man. I just said all good stuff. Okay? I've fisted There's a man in front of a police officer. Did you like that? No. Please, please. What? Do you know that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Can I speak there? Oh, well, yeah. I can't. Oh, good. I know. I'm sorry. I can't look Come on, guys. This is not football. No, you're not. You're not. We're not. But in behind you, I watched it. What you will see in this video is consistent with many other people in a similar situation to Gemma and her four daughters. This video will highlight a kind of security practice that the banks will use, including methods used by them that appears to be both illegal and unlawful. First he tried getting in with one of the police things, he couldn't get in. Um, so he decided to get a chainsaw and chainsaw through my door using excessive force. My daughter, who's only 16, was alone in the house. Um, she actually said, like, she was so scared for her life, she said, can you not wait till my mum gets in? They turned around and said no. Police officers, Criminal Justice and Courts Act 2015, Section 26, are you aware of that? Police officers assisting in these matters, assisting, can get up to 14 years. A fine? Or both? Dog handler! You need to de-escalate! Dog handler! De-escalate! Dog handler! De-escalate! Dog handler! De-escalate! De-escalate! You need to de-escalate! Let's say we don't know the law, but these gentlemen, they are police officers. Yes? They know the law. So here's the first responder. And the second responder here. This all started with the pushing from the security. We've got it on video. Hello again. Don't make any rash decisions here today because it's all on camera. Security, we're pushing people on the public property. We just want everyone safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you pay money to a corporation who led you to believe you owed them money? To date, no proof from the bank has materialised or been presented to Gemma. Any normal, rational, free-thinking individual would question the fact, then surely to avoid all this, the bank would have simply produced the original document they claim to have power over Gemma. Gemma is willing to pay the correct payment to the correct claimant upon proof of claim with the proof to prove it. So can I just say something to you now? Yep. You've been very good, thank you very much. No worries. This is potentially a crime scene now, am I right? Because oh, this gentleman, sure. on, this gentleman that's, on the floor, that'll be that'll be up to the inspector's decision. He said okay, it's not on. It's not. It's not on my decision. Okay. Well, I, I do know. We'll I do out. know. Security need to uh, have a due diligence of due care. Okay. He doesn't like he's being cared for. I saw him. Okay. I've got it on camera being dragged out. Right. That's okay. not the way you escort people out of a building. Okay, I understand that. But like, I, like I said, I, we can't. It's a crime scene. Okay. I just want to inform you. Okay. Yeah. So there's another arrest here. I'm not sure why. Recording when he threw one up on the floor, though. No. Just documenting the record. Right, so the duty of care from police officers now. Obviously, this gentleman was dragged out of the property on his back. We've got it on camera that is, uh, well, I don't know what happened inside, but quite shocking scenes, as you can see here. Just very, very briefly, big police turnout today, ain't there? Yeah, massive. What's gone wrong, do you think? Here? Um, in all honesty, I think the security guards were aware that we were going to turn up. Should have been done yesterday. Some people did gain access to the property. I believe they were beaten quite badly. There's been mace deployed or CS gas. Um, the police have stood on the side of the bailiffs once again, and we've had Trevor arrested because he knows the law with his with his big book. And we've had Gordon's, Gordon's been arrested, a little old man. You're assaulting me now. Oh, face is, is not law. Face is law. You're assaulting me. Face is law. Face is law. Disgusting. Face is law. And you're taking the dog. You're a thug. You're a thug. Yeah, you are, mate. This is crazy. You're claiming face is law. You're disgusting. <laughs> you I hope your kids are ashamed of yourself. Oh, look at that. You narcissist, mate. Absolute narcissist. You're having no effect on me. This one here, because this is what they sprayed him last time. Be careful he doesn't headbutt him or something. You know what I mean? He's into old men, knocking shit out of old men. Get off him. I said, old man! 
That's an old man you're fucking battering there, mate. An old man. Yeah, they've all come back and bite you because when they're finished with you lot, when they're all finished with you lot, and you've got all them immigrants on, on a fraction of what they're paying you, you're going to be going, yeah, why didn't we listen? Don't look at us for help because we won't be there for you. I would like to take this opportunity to first thank Sovereign Warriors, AJ Audits, and vlogging journalists for the video footage sent to me for inclusion which includes the drone footage. Their full videos are available to watch on their channels as I have only included snippets from their footage for your quick reference. Their links are in the video description below to view more of this day from different angles and different actions caught on their cameras. I would also like to thank the other people who sent in video footage and I respect the fact that you don't want mentioning but with the message of this, the footage that you provide is for the people, from the people. And thank you to all the viewers, comments, likes and subscribers new and old for without you all this madness will not end until the people make it end. Even the trolls who say things like, pay your mortgage, pay your bills, pay your taxes. A lot of trolls are 77th Brigade and their job is to counteract the truth and freedoms we have within our power, but don't always see it yet. But for the trolls that think they are making a difference against all these matters, remember this. You support the dark evil entities that have infiltrated your mind, body and soul. One day, you will see the light. Where is your security? Don't break my clothes! Take your hands off me! No, no, no! Right, so... Currently what's about to happen is a house recapture, but we have heard that there's uh, quite a number of security in the property. So we're not sure how this is going to go down today, but however, everybody's going to go in peacefully. That's the intention and that's the way it shall remain. Unless of course... Nice to see you again. And you mate, how you doing? Uh, yeah, obviously everybody's very quiet at the moment. Yeah. Bit of a sting operation, but I think they already know we're here to be honest. I think they do. I drove past the house earlier and there's about, I'm going to guess about 10 to 15 of them all stood around milling, so that I think, I think word's got out that we're coming. And the message here is to people, it's peaceful, isn't it? Non-violent, direct action. Non-violent, direct. We don't want any violence. We're just here to take the house back. Thank you. So at this point, well, people are splitting up. This way, we go around the front. Some are going around the front. Some are going around the front and back this way, I think. How are you doing? You all right? So where does it? The old bill has just done a drive-by. Trevor, can you do a walk and talk? Yep. What's important about today? I think what's important about today is the fact that, for me, I have, I have to have a justification. And what I saw, Mark, was that the RBS break-in took place. They used unlawful entry. So, as far as I'm concerned, they shouldn't do that. This situation wouldn't be happening today. Unfortunately, our, our courts and police are not doing what they should be. They're not upholding our constitutional human rights. And this is why people are doing this. We've got anarchy in the UK. At the end of the day, the state has broken down. This goes right up to the cabinet, goes right up to our courts. And uh, it has to stop. And if the establishment won't do it, this is why people are turning out in numbers to do what the uh, establishment, what the UK state is failing to do. Well, it's not rocket science. Why aren't the police investigation fraud? So fraud is taken to action fraud, taken to the City of London. And there's a uh, bill out the front, one person's out um, in between the green barriers and the front door. Well, we're around the back, we've got dogs in the garden, then we've got our fire guys up on the roof already. Excellent work, all right, we'll keep them here. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're in at the back on the top of the roof. You guys have to run more the Can we take their pictures? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. This goes to court. Stop it. Stop it. Stop Stop it. Stop we are direct action, non violence. There's no breach of the peace here. The police have already said they couldn't do anything the other day, so. Yeah, but what we're doing is peaceful. What's the finish line? She's, they're trying to take her home away from her. The, the she's done nothing wrong. No, 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 it hasn't been repossessed. You don't need to push me. I'm not pushing you, I'm not pushing you. I'm not pushing you. I'm not pushing you. Right. Oh, you have a senior officer. I am a senior. What is your name? Oh, yes, he did. You have the Excuse me. Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. You quote me your own. Hey, give the distance. Stop pushing. He's pushing. Yes, you do. So I'll hold on to that. Officer, right now. Officer, he's a stalker. No, he hasn't. We We've got it all on camera. We've got it on camera. Yeah, yeah. You're a human. You're not a man. Hey, 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 Okay. You are not upholding the law. Okay. You are not. You are not. You are not upholding the law. It's in Parliament. Can yeah. you get your hands off of me? Yeah, so Put your mask off. Everyone needs to calm down a little bit. Well, tell me. Right. Yeah. They went in unlawfully. What a fuck, Dell? What a fuck, Dell? Don't you stand up for me, chief of policemen, Dell? Gentlemen, in okay. Okay. with the back. We need you at the back now. Okay. How quickly? Right, so things have escalated. The police were expecting this, I think, this civil take back. And the security was also expecting it, it's obvious. Right, let's just have a quick look around the other side. Hey, get out of the bag. There's security around here and there's police around here. Um, I'm just keeping an eye on what they're doing. Just let me in. Get them all off. Doesn't look like it, not yet, not at all. You guys are the thieves. They're broken into the house at the back, they smashed the window, they're kicking the um, window. Foxy, you squeeze it then. Foxy, fucking scumbags. Is that a feeling guilty enough? Foxy, you squeeze it then. 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 You do not know the law. Make security just front someone off the roof out there. What the fuck? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Whoa! What was that I just seen? Let's just rewind a moment. That is not a legitimate form of physical intervention sanctioned by the Security Industry Authority. What appears to be a security operative pulling another man off the roof is not what is expected of any security licensed operative. Is he even licensed? The PCSO body cam footage along with this video footage and other footage is expected at a later date. The identity of this security operative will no doubt come to light in due course. Only one question comes to my mind right now. What justification is there for what appears to be a man pulling another man off the roof? In this security operative's physical intervention report, if not mentioned, it could be deemed a miscarriage of justice if he does not act truthfully in his physical intervention report log. Every security operative here is duty bound by the British Security Industry Authority to have their own written reports of this day logged. Two other questions also come to mind. Will the police and the Security Industry Authority investigate this incident? Security throwing people off the roof is not safe. It's stupid. 
Deal with it. Oh, you need to act lawfully. Stop people pushing people. People are coming for you, mate. They're in. They're in. Everybody's in. Everybody's in. Yeah, get out. Get out of the house. Get out. Get out. Come on, get out. That's it. Come on! Yeah! When you get your bonus now, when, when you, you get, get your bonus, the property. Now you say you, you say what you're creating. Fucking animals! Hey! We have hey! The property. Hey! Hey! We have recaptured the property. We have recaptured the property. Did you hear that? Yes, get the knife, get the fucking knife. In the security operative's incident report, there should be references about this knife. No, you back off! Do your job! You work for us, you civil servants! Hey! Hey! Fucking! What are you doing? Go back! Hey! 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 Law. Security need to do a dynamic risk assessment. They're inside now. Everybody's inside. Yeah. You need to do a dynamic risk assessment. They're inside. De-escalate. 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 That's your job now. You need to de-escalate. They're in the house. It's time to de So they need to de-escalate now. Officer, they need to de-escalate it. As you can see here, most of the security are not displaying their SIA badges. Are they even SIA licensed? Well, I did notice a couple, and this one in particular is now taking his license off. No, but you should show. You should show. When you're working, you're yes, supposed sir. to show. That's the evil. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. They should have their badges. Hey, you're officer, you're giving it, the, you're, you're here to do this. Why aren't they showing their badges? Why aren't they showing their badges? They're here, supposed to. That's the law. That's the law. Where's the badges? Where's the badges then? You're giving it all that. You're here to, you know. Why aren't they showing the badges, officer? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Can we have an officer? Because he doesn't. He hasn't got a clue. Great security is trying to off the roof out there. What? Okay, I'm not round the back, am I? The Private Security Industry Act 2001, Section 9, Subsections 1 and 1C state. The power of the Secretary of State to prescribe the conditions on which a licence must be granted and the power of authority to impose additional conditions for such a licence shall include power to prescribe or impose conditions imposing obligations as to the production and display of the licence. Subsection 4 states, Any person who contravenes the conditions of any licence granted to him shall be guilty of an offence and liable on summary conviction to a term of imprisonment not exceeding six months or to a fine not exceeding level 5 on the standard scale or to both. Scumbags. Get out, dog! Put on your feet! Dog handler, you need to de escalate! Dog handler, de escalate! Dog handler, de escalate! Dog handler, de escalate! De escalate! 
You need to de-escalate! Go! Go, fuck off you! Go! Well, good. 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 How many of you are De escalate! De escalate! So the people have actually gained entry. The police are not doing anything right now. Is there any security in the property? There is, but they're like, um, well, I'm homeless, but they're not really violent. It's like, there's a girl, a woman. Uh... Just make sure you look after the welfare. They're in now, so let's go around the front, see what's happening around the front. You're a scumbag. You're a scumbag. You're a thief. You're a thief. You're a thief. Calm down. You're a thief. Yeah, calm yeah. down. We, we know the law, lad. Alright? <laughs> you just need to get fucking with it. Alright? You need to de escalate now. Look after him. You need to de escalate. Huh? It seems a bit out of control. <laughs> Don't break my clothes! Take your hands off me! No, no, no! No, no, no! You are breaking the law! Police are breaking the law. You should know better. You should, you should know better. Don't you do that. Oi, oi, that's unlawful. Don't do that. Don't do that. Why did you join the police force? You don't know, are you? Oh, I don't know. I'm questioning it now, madam. Was it to be a criminal? Was it to be a criminal? Thank you. I'm going to maintain this line because I think if there's a huge confrontation, it's going to escalate and there's going to be injuries. And I'm not saying it violent. But just ask yourself, please ask yourself why you join the Peace Force to do right for the people. This is not doing right for the people. This is supporting corruption, co corporations and terrorists. It's not helping the people. It's fraudulent and it's, it's just disgusting. So please do the right thing. There are the some banks. good coppers out there you that still have a heart. Bank. You've got you children. Please do the right thing okay. and stand with us. Yeah. Hey, don't hit the woman. Don't hit a woman. You don't fucking care. That's why. Because you don't care. To be fair, you actually seem all right because I think you are actually starting to question. The corruption within your own, within your own organisation. Yeah. So, the banks have already please, been well, paid, well and truly paid for this house. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know the well, well, you need to, you need to understand it because I genuinely don't know the financial situation. Wait. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Fucking. What are you doing? Get back. Hey! 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 Son of the Lord! Hey! 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 Will this police sergeant 75643 deploy his pauvre directly into this man's eyes, then after decapacitating him, proceed to then take advantage of his temporary blindness and assault him? 
If yes, then surely physical intervention of this kind should be followed through with a dynamic risk assessment for the man's welfare who he appeared to have knocked to the ground. Police Sergeant 75643 would have a duty of care to this man who may then lay injured on the floor. If this happens, would he walk away? That's an old man! That's an old man you're fucking battering there, mate! An old man! Give me your hands now. He's not. He's assaulting my colleagues. Get back. Get back. Can we have a senior? It's not no Oh, you are breaking the law. Fucking right. It's all on film and all. Oh, colour numbers. Colour numbers. Yeah, let's have their colour numbers. Go easy on him. Colour numbers. Yes. He battered an old man, this guy here. Battered an old man. Police could very easily be perceived to be on side with the expectations of the bankers, also known as banking cartels by many. Maybe this is why they get called the bankster gangsters. I understand. That's why I'm searching. Okay, we're looking for anything. Hey, fine, Okay. Why are you not searching? I was We're going through it. Okay, in due course. Yeah, but there's a there's a lot of people. Two tier policing. We know all about that. All about the criminal justice and court act. Twenty six. You must not aid in the bank. It's against the law. Security. Yeah. We. One of the one of the gentlemen on the yellow jacket. My man, you looking for this guy? Um, oh, but listen. You want to find this way? This gentleman on yellow jacket on the yellow jacket. Spit and fell. How do you identify him? What's that, sir? Oh, do you want to find the details to me? Uh, no, no, you're not, you're not required to send if you wish to. If you okay. copy a search, you're not entitled to. Yeah, I want a paper. Uh, let me grab your details. I grab it for now. I don't have to give you my details. Okay, so what's going to happen? It'll be searched under the system. It'll be your Well, you shouldn't hide in the back terminal. I'm sorry. I won't ask for the details. If you call what I want, you should be able to get them. You don't have to know. I'm just saying if you want to answer that. Sweet. I, I Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Yeah. What happened? I gave the paper about. I recommend. That's what I say. If you call up, you can get the details from the search, okay? Uh, are you also busy right now? Here's a common law right of attack to restitution. It's yeah. still subject to legal proceedings. Right. There's a current claim in the Royal Courts of Justice. Uh, for the Lower ranking time. police officers are commonly known as order followers by many people in the UK, including their higher echelon. And despite the fact that every police officer have the right to use their own powers individually, many good police officers have already left the police organisation to what is becoming more apparent by the day. They appear to have questioned their own actions, despite being ordered from an operational point of view to carry out their orders. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Does it really make financial sense to throw all that money and resources at a house that may become worth much less in the costs involved in what it's worth? We've got knives in there that we're going to stab everyone in there. Hey, you the fucking eye. Fucking loggers on our tents. Spray his eye. Yeah. Do it. My plan is to stab everybody, so people use the self-defence. That's why the self-defence come in there. They've got knives in there and they're going to use them. I'm looking that. Ah, that's your nose, mate. <laughs> Who's is that? So that's someone's phone. Really? No one is coming in. 
No one is coming in. We're coming where we want, mate. People are already in. Let's do it. No one's coming in. People are already in. People are already in. Okay. One of your securities got CS gas. That's unlawful. Set your fire firearm. You're all complicit now. You need to stop this now. Yeah, stop it. Go home. You need to stop it as well. It's your job to stop it. De-escalate. Officer, someone's got CS gas. He's just been sprayed. You need to find the Section 5 firearm. All the security need detaining to find that Section 5 firearm. Don't let any of them go away. Just remember, they got no papers for doing it. Yeah, I've just got here. I've got no idea what's going on at the moment. I'm just trying to find out. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me and go find out. Stop talking to me and go find out. Stop talking to me, mate. You, you come out to me to talk to me. Officer, there's a Section 5 firearm amongst the security. Pardon, mate. A Section 5 firearm. They've been spraying CS gas. There's a man over here with CS gas in his face. Yeah. Yeah. Section 5 firearm. Is there a threat to life right now? Well, you need to go on the system. Is there a threat to life? Find that firearm. Is there a threat to life? Find the firearm. Find the firearm. Shut up. Hey, hey, I do it to you. Look at that. Look at that. Someone threw something in the bush. Come over and went in now. Is anyone in there now, do you know? There are people in, don't know many. Oh, is it any of our lot? Any of our lot? Someone's just been fetched out, just uh, on the floor. I've just got um, assault by Alex, the security guard. Who's Alex? The horrible one that's um, been pushing everyone. He's knocked me to the floor. On the floor? Who's the man on the floor? No, I'm looking you for fucking whatever. Look at him. Look at him. No, what's going on? What's he standing in? What is he going on? I'm dead. Because you've obviously joined the priest of the good person. Exactly. And, I, and that's why I say. Right, that was fine. Where's the man? Where's the man? Where's the man? I don't see that was some guy. thrown up. I just see some yellow stuff. I'm going to make sure he's one. The water will make it ten times. Just get some air to it. Hey, keep your eyes open. Don't worry about me. Just please. Don't worry about that. Because they just get out. I was here because I was the driver for the company who take the stuff. My boss was just, lying. Yeah. Like they're gonna no, no, the just, I'll say don't put water on it and make it worse. Okay, just let the air get to it, mate. Okay. Can you guys wind your necks and stop making the situation ten times worse, please? You're the driver. You can't stop. Who's are you bailing? Okay, would you start getting the back? This is left to nice and stripping. Go put in the bus and put it in the bus. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking idiot, bro. You're breaking the law. You're going to stop them down my back. You're assisting them here. Right. There's a Section 5 firearm amongst the security. Is anybody even going to take this seriously? Is anybody going to take this seriously? <laughs> I'm filming, I'm independent. I'm not get nicked in anybody. Right, listen, that's a threat. Oh, you stupid man. Some of you are all right, but some of you are questionable. The man you see here was taken to hospital and has now been x-rayed. From the x-ray report, it was identified that the man has got a fractured spine, complemented with head, hand, arm and leg injuries. I have been informed that the man was beaten by security inside the house and also tried to break his leg. As you have seen in this video, this man was dragged out on his back by security. No, it's fair. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, it's fair. 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 It's fair.
I we, know, are, we are here to know, breach man. any in the case. Yeah, right? that's, 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 that's what we're here for, all right? It's How's your hand? Shocking. Yeah, it's all right. Not ideal. Fresh ones. It's not as bad as the man on the floor. It's had a kicking by them not in there. <laughs> yeah, I just need to get some details off you. So therefore, I don't have a necessity to arrest you, okay? And I don't want to arrest you. Can you grab some details off you, okay? No. So, what's your first name, Gordon? No, it's not okay. What's your name? Oh. It's not okay. What's your name, then? I don't go by you, the name that you want. If you do not provide me with details, you will be being arrested, okay? Because therefore, given the necessity to arrest you to obtain right. your name and your address. I therefore, stood I under the divine Just bear with creator and woman, man, on the soil and land of England. I bind you to your oath of office here and now as the day you first made it. Do you understand? Yeah. I'm going to say it again. Yeah, I understand. I stand under the divine creator and woman man on the soil and land of England. I bind you to your oath of office here and now as the day you first made it. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I stand under the divine creator and woman man on the soil and land of England. I bind you to your oath of office here and now as the day you first made it. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I've asked you that three yes. times. Do you read that to me? Would someone read this? Right. Now, have well, you read that three times? Three times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So now he's got your under your oath of office, yeah, of what you swear to the people. Yeah, of course. Right. That officer with the beard, he needs arresting immediately. Right now. No, 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 no. You don't no, you no, don't no, 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 no. You don't no, interrupt the man, you're, you're standing not, as no, no. a corporation. You're not involved in no, 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 no. I'm speaking to no, no, right no. right here. You've, You've just pepper sprayed my friend. Pepper sprayed your friend. No, right. I've not pepper sprayed your friend. All right, sorry. We all make accusations that I have pepper sprayed it. I never said I just said you didn't. I said you're fine. Yeah, and then he's corrected it as well. No, get your pen out no. of his face, no, please. No, no, Just, can you step Go, back a bit? No That's intimidating him. I require you your back? name and your address. You know, you not your name and address. You no. will be arrested on I'm suspicion of an offence. What, 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 what do you do? What offence? What Assault an emergency no. worker. Oh, okay. is it? Can I, that's down to you. Is if it? You provide those details to me or not? If no, you do not, it doesn't have You'll to. be arrested. I am called Gordon. You do. What law? Thank you. I am called Gordon. Perfect. Gordon. I do not identify with any. Sovereign, uh, anything what, like what's, uh, your, so what's your sign? Listen, Rice versus Cronley, 1966. Rice versus Cronley, 1966. Trying to get into all you need to get out to commit fraud. I do not are identify. Trying to get into commit fraud. Are you listening to me? Well, if you have ideas, I'm going to arrest you. Right, you're arrested on suspicion. He's got your Listen, Rice versus Cronley, 1966. That's all you need to see. He hasn't got a leg to stand on. Rice versus Cronley, 1966. Rice versus Cronley, 1966. Yeah. Is to obtain your deeds, to obtain your name and your address. Can't do it. Rice versus Conley, 1966, is case law. Is case law. Is case law. I'm not going to search. I'm not going to handcuff you. I'm going to search you in section. I have nothing to say. You're not searching me. You're assaulting me now. Face is not law. Face is law. You're assaulting me. Face is law. Face is law. Disgusting. Face is law. And you're taking it off. I hope your kids are ashamed of yourself. I look at that, you narcissist, mate. You're absolute narcissist. You're having no effect on this one here because this is what they sprayed him last time. Be careful he doesn't headbutt him or something. You know what I mean? He's into old men, knocking shit out of old men. Yeah, you're being searched in section 32. Of I need to give my them my keys. keys. Yeah. Well, you're you're not searching so, those. So. I need to give so them my keys. Me, look at me. These keys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who to? Me. This gentleman here. Yeah. Do me a favour. Calm down now. You're out of order. I don't want anybody. Here. When you get to the van, if you do give your details, they will de arrest you. And that is correct. I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know, they will de arrest you. I'll do it in confidence if you have to. But I'll see you soon. You're a corporation. Go and have a look down on Brad Street. You'll find your corporation. You know what, please? Don't worry. This is a shit show. There's not going to be. I don't know. You're all pushing them in the vents a lot. What's wrong with you all? There's an ambulance on its way. I know, but he's got a heart condition. You know this, don't you? I'm not aware of that, okay? You're on, Matthew. 
Sorry, I'm not swinging at you, OK? No, no, I understand. No, I completely understand. Can I just say, there is an allegation of a Section 5 firearm amongst the security. Yep. Are you going to detain the security and search the we'll, ball? We'll look into it, OK? We will also, look into it, also, I can't tell you anything it's been that. alleged that something's been thrown over this hedge, so you, your police need to search that hedge. OK, that's fine. But, like I said, we're going to try and deal with one thing at a time, OK? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah? OK, thank you. What's your number? 82743. So, with allegation of a Section 5 firearm, hmm? would you detain everybody till you find it? Would I detain everyone? The security, find it? because allegedly it's come from the security. So, I'm not going to tell you how we do things, right. okay? So, I believe you probably already know how we do things, okay? But what I'm telling you now is that we're going to be dealing with the situation at hand. We need to deal with the situation. We've got a lot of people here. We've got to make sure that the situation calms down. And once we've dealt with that, we start looking into different inquiries, okay? But that's all I'm trying to say. We'll deal with it at a time. Okay, one thing at a time. Thank yeah? you. No worries. I'm not going to cross no, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're right. That's fine. I've searched you. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Sorry. Um, so, just keep your hands where I can see them for the time being. I'm going to search you. Nothing on you. I'm happy days. I'll keep the details. My colleague's got the camera. I'm going to wait for my colleague to come. And they'll search for my section. So, my name's Pixie Ashcroft. I'll work out stats today. Just so documenting the record. You've got, is it? You've got some CS gas on you, OK? Um, you're detained for the purpose of search. Why are you being entitled to a copy of that search at the end of it? I'm giving you the details. Does that make sense? Yeah? Lovely. Any questions? OK, mate. Right, just keep your arms up for me for the time being, friend. Thank you. Have you got anything on there that I need to be aware of? All right, mate. No worries at all. Spin yourself around for me, please, mate. Thank you. The cover would be denied. Yeah, like I said, you've got it. Okay, that's fine. Can you check the property for knives as well? Okay. Don't go here. Is that right? Anybody going to go back in your pocket, mate? Yeah, that's fine. Phone, vape. Go back in your pocket. Money. Just going to check your waistband, buddy, all right? Would you mind just undoing your um, high beers for me, please? Thank you very much. We've got other layers underneath this, I mean. That's great, thank you. Where's his badge? Where's his SIA badge? Where's his SIA badge? Zero interest in where his SIA badge is right this second, mate, OK? Because right. that is completely irrelevant to what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, you can yeah. lose, your, lose your licence for not wearing it, can't okay, you? But again, so I, can't can do it. I don't need to deal with it right this second. I know, right. I'll make a note of that, will you? Oh, mate, oh, yeah, it will be... Oh, yeah. You can see that he hasn't got his badge on, though, can't you? Like I said, we're just going to deal with one thing at a time. Okay? Once the situation calms down... Sorry? Can I search you? Is the police officer... There's someone searching the bushes. There might be a CS kit. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not a police officer. It's security. They're looking for something. Security are looking for something. Security are looking for something. It's possibly CS gas. Yeah. And if they find it, you'll never see it. Inform one of your colleagues. Hello? Is it? Well, I'd like the police to look for it rather than anybody else, to be fair. Come on, guys, this is not football. I know, well, can. But it's best if the police look for it rather than anybody else. What? Well, you try me. So, can I just say something to you now? Yep. You've been very good, thank you very much. No worries. This is potentially a crime scene now, am I right? Because oh, this gentleman sure. on this gentleman that's, on the floor that'll be that'll be up to the inspector's decision. Okay, it's not on it's not it's not on my decision. Okay. Well, I, I do know we'll I do out. know security need to uh, have a due diligence of due care. Okay. He doesn't like he's being cared for. I saw him. Okay. I've got him on camera being dragged out. Right. That's okay. not the way you escort people out of a building. Okay, I understand that. But like I, like I said, I, we can't. It's a crime scene. Okay. I just wanted to inform you. Okay. Sorry. Especially when there's a burglar. Okay.
Well, like I said, we'll look it. We'll look into it. Okay. But at the moment, we're just going to calm the situation down. Sorry. I wish I had faith in that. Okay. That's honestly. Yeah. Maybe Oh, I'm sure you're acting like that. All we've all we've been told is that a situation's happening here, and we've got to calm down. Okay. That's all we've been told. I get it. You've got limited information. Yes. Police in this video and many more videos on this channel appear to be appeasers of the people as well as enforcers against the people. Just how much money are the bankers willing to throw at keeping the masses subdued? This is one question that comes to many people's mind. Spending tens of thousands of pounds in security measures, including personnel and legal costs, all for what appears to be a bank action to save a house from being exposed in the alleged fraud and corruption of the banking industry. You do not know the law. Your job is to uphold the law. Taking money under false pretenses, really. You are assisting criminals evade arrest and prosecution. The Criminal Law Act 1967, Section 41. You are assisting. Did he provide details? Do you mind me asking? Uh, no. So are you actually going to take him away now? Yeah, I'm talking about back to him. Have you lost the back? Yeah, somebody picked it up and looked at it. Where is David? Somebody picked it up and looked at it. The only logical reason I can think of for these amounts of money spent by the banks in these matters is to stamp out and suppress at any cost that if the people worldwide realise the situation in these matters are found to be true, then the whole banking system could or would collapse in a very short time or even virtually overnight. The post office scandal is deemed just a drop in the ocean when compared to the banks the gangsters. Can I just point something out actually? Because security are really looking after the property. When the security are on the public property, they can't touch the people on public property. Okay. Listen, and there's a lot of video I, I don't know no, it's not your okay. fault. No, yeah. While people are on public property, yeah. security can't touch them. Okay. But they've been pushing them. Okay. Okay, Push well, listen, on one, like I've said, more than, more multiple than, times, more take one thing than. at a time, and then if you're willing to provide evidence or anything like that, okay, you can make a report to 999 or 101, okay, make a report online if you really risk it, you can go on the Essex Police website if you need to, and you can make a report of it, okay? But at the moment, I can't deal with it. I'm not having a go at you. I'm just telling you what's happening. I'm just telling you what what I can and can. And in your report, I'm sure it will reflect on this because you use your body cam footage. Yeah, we use all. Yeah, it is on, is it? Because you haven't told. But obviously, I haven't been in the whole situation. You haven't told us. I I know very limited stuff, and and even if I did know a lot more, I wouldn't be able to tell you anyway. Okay. So that's all. That's are you recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm recording. Yeah, you should have told us. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, can we get this? Yeah, hang on. Who's got? Hang on. Now, can we get this? Yeah, this one. This one. Probably. Hang on. So you are asking for a few no. Go that way. Did you see and hear that? Let's just rewind again for a second. You can go that way, mate. Accompanied with a point of the finger. Why was Trevor arrested here? and then walked away from the police cars behind the police officer past the house towards my camera and then only to go all the way back again via the school grounds grass area. This police officer 81844 appeared to insist to his colleague to walk towards my camera. You also heard his colleague suggest to walk the opposite way as he also pointed in the direction behind him. It was only when you look at the police officer's eye can you then see he appears to be looking for my camera to walk towards. This is my assumption at this stage. Instead of walking in the direction of the police car behind him, as suggested by his colleague, this appeared to be a calculated arrest route, and then to parade Trevor towards my camera as some kind of victory walk for the arresting officer. This was a most bizarre route to the police car waiting behind Officer 81844. What do you think? See for yourself the arrest route of Trevor. Now, can we get this? Yeah, hang on. Who's got? Hang on. Now, can we get this? Yeah, this one. This one. Probably. Hang on. Yeah. So you are asking for a few no. Go that way. So there's another arrest here. I'm not sure why. I'm recording when he threw one of the floor, though. No. I work with the ex con commissioner and yes, that's right. I work with ex CID Dave Lates, and I work yeah. with an ex senior. Essex police lawyer. Can I just ask you why have you been arrested? Have they said yet? Well, they, they, they've said allegedly. I'm not obstructing you, I'm just walking backwards. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I've been standing, standing there, Mark. Exactly, Go on, I'll let you walk in front of me. Can you take your arm or something? Go on, I'm not going to. No, no, that's, you've not been a problem at all, mate. No, no, I'm not really sure of you at all. I'm not one of them. So, right. Trevor, I can hear you. Why are you walking? Mark, come and follow. Yeah, yeah. So, tell me about it. What's happened? I'm not getting away, mate. Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah, going yeah, this yeah. way. I lobbied off government. I was with Sir Alan Campbell. Yeah. Who's at 12 Downing Street? Oh, okay. 
four weeks ago over the banking fraud. Yeah. What, what the situation is in this one, RBS have taken it because there was a discrepancy. Yeah. Gemma, the I'm here as an observer. Yeah. And if you're arresting me for a sub, you need to arrest some of your. Oh, look at um, we're going to have to leave. Yes, I've, I've got bad hair. What we'll do, when we get to the car, we'll go through all in private. Any, any medication? But I haven't touched anybody. That's not that's not the concern right now. The concern is your welfare. OK, you're going to custody. Come on, For his welfare? Are you saying... No, I'm asking him for his medication for his welfare. So for your thing. <laughs> Are you, do you feel OK, Trevor? No, because it's injustice. OK. I got it all on film anyway, Trevor. When the copper pushed you, when you pushed me back, then don't push me. So, all will be revealed at a later date, does it say? No, you don't say no comment, you just remain silent. Not even no comment. Do you want me to get a brief down there? No, are you I'm stopping you shot. You're just assaulting me, aren't you? Why have you been arrested, Trevor? Been arrested because I know the law. They want you out the way, that's what it is. They want you out the way. They know the law, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait there. What did I do? You've nothing. done nothing. Just quoted the law. Yes. Listen, a lot of people said you it's an alleged well, offence. Eh? It's an alleged offence. Who? By who? An alleged offence. By your sergeant. What cop? Bitch. You. You've been attacked and assault, uh, insulted. Didn't. Didn't. No, I I haven't haven't assaulted any so I wasn't here at the time. I am arresting you for that, and it's an alleged defence. I've that's quoted right. the law. Left. Left. Assault, is it? Turn to where you're taking it. Not you, no. The law is an assault. Why are you saying the police officers for one man? You've been taken anything else? That's right. Can you, tell, can you tell us where you're taking it? Can you take Watch your back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're concerned for his health, please take the handcuffs off. If you're concerned for his health, please take the handcuffs off. I've got blood pressure problems. I'm diabetic. Can I have your number, please? Can I have your number, please? Can you right. watch your back in the road? Can you please watch your back in the road? Excuse me, what's he been arrested for? There's an allegation. There's an allegation. Assault. Assault. Just assault. mind yourself, assault. mate. I'll mind yourself. Alleged assault. Alleged assault. Alleged it's alleged assault of a police officer. They've all come back and bite you because when they're finished with you lot, when they're all finished with you lot, and you've got all them in the goods on, on a fraction of what they're paying you, you're going to be going, yeah, why didn't we listen? Don't look at us for help because we won't be there for you. I know you're asking about where your mate's gone for custody and what he's done, obviously, you know, we can't tell you that. Right. Is, if he wants is anyone going to go and check? If he's got your mobile number, he might give you a bell. They have been searching, they have been searching. Have you checked their SAA badges? Off him, so so he won't be able to Not personally, no. But do you think, if you go and you might find one or two. Sergeant, you know it's not against the law to wear handcuffs, don't you? Hello say again? You know it's not against the law to wear handcuffs, don't you? You know that, don't you? I'm, I'm not interested in engaging in the conversation with you, mate. OK. Well, there's no law against it. It's a restraining device. And I'm not a police officer. And I'm not impersonating one. I need a new car. I need a new car. I've already got a new bike. Thank you very much, South Yorkshire Police. Some of you have been all right. I I don't say some of you have been all right. I, I do give positive feedback. Cheers. I've obviously got a, a, a hard job to do today. <laughs> See you in the custody suite, perhaps, with a wrongful and lawful arrest. Will this sergeant be arrested for assault and battery or given a pat on the back for his bravery? Just very, very briefly, big police turnout today, ain't there? Yeah, massive. What's gone wrong, do you think? Here? Um, in all honesty, I think the security guards were aware that we were going to turn up. Should have been done yesterday. Some people did gain access to the property. I believe they were beaten quite badly. There's been mace deployed or CS gas. Um, the police have stood on the side of the bailiffs once again. And we've had Trevor arrested because he knows the law with his with his big book. And we've had Gordon to been arrested. A little old man. It's a very stressful day for you. It's been a stressful week. Yeah. They stole your property from you. That's the allegations. Yeah. What's going on today? Well, we come here to take back, lawfully take back my property. And again, the police were called before we even got here, so I don't know how they knew. Someone's obviously given them the heads up. 
Uh, when we got here, the police are acting with the security and they're um, taking the side of the security. They won't listen to anything we've said. I've been assaulted by an Alex from... Um, head of security, security, I believe. Oh, head of security he assaulted me, he knocked me on the floor, pushed me. Um, and a police officer saw this and just let him do it. They didn't even do anything. The shocking thing is as well, is that uh, the police actually didn't do anything regarding your daughter at 16 years old, did they? No, nope, they've just... They've no not, welfare? No, nope, nothing. Even when I've told them that she was 16, they said, oh, well, that shouldn't have happened. I've just spoke to a police officer from the airport. He said that shouldn't have happened. No, it shouldn't, but none, no one wants to do anything. They're just ignoring the facts. A lot of people have missed you. Oh, thank you very much. Those who like you and those who hate you. Yes, like uh, me. Well, you know what? I can't do every one of them, Mark, and it's just... Round my way, it's a bit quiet. Toby's always supported our lot. And Toby's down here, I'll, I'll come down. You know what? We, we have to travel. And it's fair to say, you've actually got a lot of stuff going on in the background as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm very busy. I've got my um, my little set of notices that are going out and we've got uh, enforcement agents backing down, credit card companies backing down. It's, it's quite interesting when you actually learn how to write these things correctly rather than asking somebody for a template. It's actually Mark Naylor decided to chainsaw my door actually at first he tried getting in with one of the police things he couldn't get in um, so he decided to get a chainsaw and chainsaw through my door using excessive force my daughter who's only 16 was alone in the house um, she actually said like she was so scared for her life she said can you not wait till my mum gets in they turned around and said no and grabbed her out and made her stand out in her dressing gown all day and would not let her go in and change and ever since that day your children have never been back in that house no like and they're so traumatized my daughter's really badly got panic attacks now because of it and yeah it's just really bad. the alarming thing for me is because i've been following these for a long time and they keep saying pay your mortgage pay your mortgage but it's not about that it's about the, the banks ignoring you I've, I said, I've never ever refused to pay a mortgage payment. I've always said I will pay if you can provide me proof that you even lent me anything. After researching, I know that they don't actually lend you anything. It's all done on system numbers. They don't actually lend you anything. And the reason why they won't ask, um, reply to any of my questions is if they do, they will expose the fraud that they're committing. So for three years, I've been asking for SARS. I've been asking questions. And it is an actual, um, it's illegal for them to not reply within 30 days. It's a criminal offence. And it's fair to say this has come from your own judgment that you wanted to ask questions. Yes, all I've done is ask. I've never refused to pay. I've never said I won't. I will pay when you can answer me this, this and this. And they've never once answered. So what them. person thinks going to pay something to somebody if they don't have any allegation of claim? All you've asked for is a proof of claim, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'll pay. Just show me the paperwork that shows that you even lent me anything and I will pay it. The banks have just ignored that. Yep. Yeah. And this is what happens. So, what are you doing here? Who called you? I thought Brazen. Because we've noticed there's been a lot of police in the uh, vicinity from early hours of this morning. The the this house is being manned like 24 hours right. until it's being sold. So, right. it's it's got it's got its own security in it. Right. Okay. So, what was you doing here? Sacking so around the area from like eight nine o'clock. Uh, making morning. Make, well, we, we haven't been. Oh, they right. haven't. They so, haven't. Someone said you've been spotted driving around. One hours. One hours. We drive around on people's regularly around Harlow. That's what's going on. What was you specifically looking for today? I've worked. I've worked in security. When people started coming to the house. All time. They saw you here when we got here before anyone got into the house. Yeah, but you'd you'd be you'd be with me saying that this got out of hand, correct? Thirty years. But they saw you here. No, but has it got out of hand? Yeah, but I'm saying yeah. So we need to be. The police were already here before anyone <laughs> even turned up. Yeah, uh, nice. I, I'll say what I said right at the get go. I'm here. You can't go that way. Um, I'm here to make sure they breached in peace. So you're six to me. There's been a sort. Eight officer, eight one, eight four four has agreed on camera that he was here last time and he committed crimes. No, I didn't commit any crimes last time. I, I, no, because I explained on camera... I was talking to Gemma yeah, for a long time. I, I explained where the, where the crime was committed and you have agreed to it. Okay. I've told you what happened and you've agreed to it. Yeah? Stop yeah, so we even need yeah, your own that's, system. That's Criminal Justice Import Act 2015, yeah. Section 26, yeah. Subsection 3. Okay. Abuse of yeah. police yeah. powers yeah. and privileges. Yeah. That's what you've done. It's my honest You've honest assisted Bailiff. No, you have. You have. You've already agreed to it. You have. You have. Where, where's your due diligence? I'm not arguing with you, because I don't argue with the corporation. My, my, my argument's not with you. What I do is I tell you the facts. Yeah, but we've got the facts. 
up and look at that uh, finish with us. I, I haven't come seen for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's fine. Okay. How old's your kids? Yeah. Mine's four. Oh, we're Little we're girl. We're doing it's birthday tomorrow. That's irrelevant. Yeah. Well, no, we're what's 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 irrelevant? What's irrelevant? With the age this. of my children. Okay. What, but but then, yeah, 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 yeah. you're a man, aren't you? With kids. How is it irrelevant? Okay. That's so in right. ten years' time, yeah. my okay. daughter's okay. want to deal with all this with you not standing under the law yeah. and under your oath. I'm making sure not. No, but okay. you're not. You've already caused the harm. Come on, all the innocent kids around the world with you. All that, mate. You know what I mean? Jimmy Savile is all protected, mate. So you know your presence in this isn't it? That's backed by nothing. Nah, but look, you still wearing it like me being me ex army, me ex army. It's your constables is arresting yeah, right, these yeah. people here. Well, yeah. that was assaulting all of us right yeah, yeah. just Yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't even here. Yeah, well, well, he's done it on camera that he's threatened to go and get a knife, and we've got him pepper spraying people. Yeah. 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 In someone else's I can't, property. I can't comment on that. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. own. I can't comment on that because I wasn't there. No, but you're going to have to comment. When this gets aired, we're going to be coming to see your comments. Yeah, and we'll get you some painful ties as well for you. We'll have to work out something that's going on as a whole for my body. That's for you. To, you Someone else said. Right, there's things. an allegation that one MP individuals in there has got cannabis uh, pepper that. spray, which actually, is a firearm. So you need to search our property and search them to ascertain. We'll have to deal with all of you people. As a whole, we don't get you. That's right. No, but he's agreed to be in here last time. And I've stated in the CPS report, Alex, we've got a CPS you know go report. Knives to stab yeah, yeah, I've got that on my body cam as well. Alex, you got a criminal record. So, so, do you want an affidavit of, of fact? Yeah, and then you can, and then you can arrest him. No, you're not bothered about that, are you? This is a situation that makes sense. No, there's no threat. He's already made the threat. We've got it. No, 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 no. We've got it on video. Yeah, the 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 you, you don't know what he's coming yeah, yeah, yeah. to the house. Alex, we've got you on video telling your colleagues to go and get the knife. Are you trained? Are you trained in law? You're gone. Excuse me. They're not trained in law. I know, but I'm doing it. Sorry. Are you trained in law? Because you're making quite a lot of presumptions, aren't you? are. I am. Yeah. No, this is okay. fact. That is this is fact. These people are From your CPS, that states you can't, you can't get involved in a civil matter. Okay. Yeah, and it states <laughs> the procedure rules, and it but states. But can get involved you... when people no, no, say no, no, is a no, no, it's not. That's what? Okay. What? When you're... bailiffs are dragging a 16-year-old girl down the stairs, <laughs> and you're assisting yeah. it? Didn't see it. You're a thug. <laughs> you're a I thug. You were here last there. time, so you haven't done your due, due diligence. Were you here last time? I wasn't, but I've no, seen it all on video. Have so you, don't have you not gone back and looked at the evidence? I'm not going to talk to you. Have you looked at the evidence? I'm not going to look at you. No, I'm not going to talk to you. Have you done your due diligence and looked at the evidence from last time? I was here and you weren't. So it was the duty of care for the man on the floor. Obviously the police are now dealing with this matter. Security have obviously fetched him out. But there is a duty of care with security to look after people they're ejecting from a property. That duty of care may have failed. Disastrously. You are now looking at the man who was previously dragged out of this property on his back by security. We now know that he has suffered a fractured spine, but the police think it's okay to walk him away when an ambulance should have been called. What damage could be caused to this man by moving him without a spinal board, or at very least, being assessed by a paramedic before they move him? So what's happened now? The police have uh, managed to get into the situation. Everything's been de-escalated now. Quite uh, shocking scenes earlier. Man being thrown off a roof. Uh, yeah. Did you hear about that? A man got thrown off a roof in the back. No, you obviously didn't do that. Putting words in my mouth, man. He said you just, you know, it's like leading questions. Leading? Yeah, barrister, man. You know, like... Can I give you the opportunity to ask me a question? No, man, why would I ask you a question? Interview me. You just put words into people's mouths. Well, you put words into my mouth, then. Oh. Um, that's fine. Exactly. Would you like to interview me? No, man, you just put this word, that's what you do. Thanks for your help. You all right? Well... Listen, you look good. It's good seeing you again, OK? Do you know what? It's all about peaceful actions. And this is about the people 
not happy with what the police did. They assisted something with Mark Naylor. And if you don't know the story, you'll probably catch up with it on the video production. Well, I look forward to seeing your video. You, really did you see the video with Mark Naylor coming? I've seen the other one, it's good, thanks. You're really good. You know, I try to be fair. If you want to speak, this is your opportunity. Yeah, I say that to you, I say that to you in person. You're a really good guy, nice guy. Thanks for your hard work, okay? Well, thank you. So I can't be more helpful. But I appreciate what you're doing, okay? Oh, thank you, thank you. So Gemma is there speaking to the police. Obviously, this is Gemma's house. All she did was ask the banks proof of claim. The bank was all, all they needed to do was send her a document saying that she owed them money, but they never did. Would you pay somebody some money if you was told you owed the money without proof? And that's what it's all about. Is the public path open now? Yeah, you can It walk. was closed earlier, wasn't yes. it? Yeah, you, you, may, you may walk, you walk along freely. Have you been talking to the police? No, I've been talking to Orbis because I want my sofa out of there and my bed that they're preventing oh, me. Get through? No, they're bringing me back in 10 minutes, but I know they won't because I've rung numerous times and I've sent five emails on every time wanting my stuff because on the notice it says, I don't know if you can see on there, it says I've got till the 10th of October to get my stuff. On the 2nd of October, uh, 3rd of October, they removed all my stuff in their storage and would not let me have any paper. I don't know where it is or anything. They've not given me any details, so they've stolen, which is a crime, all of my pro all of my belongings out of my house. So they, they actually took out property on the previous day. Did, can you enlighten me on that? Yeah, um, yeah, I was the driver. He was the driver of the original vehicle. I was the driver who took the property. What uh, could you tell me about that day, from your um, own personal opinion? Yeah, when we got here, uh, I was fully surprised because we never got a job like that. Never uh, was cooperated with bailiff. Never was to removal when the bailiff was there. So I was super surprised. Uh, I was spoke with my boss. He say like uh, they're gonna provide fully access uh, to the staff for Gemma. Uh, on the end of the story, I find out like he was lied to me because the address was changed three times. Um, on Thursday morning, when I take the stuff and I should take it to the, uh, actually that was Stevenage originally when the stuff should go, uh, they was changed the address twice. On the end, why they, would they do that? Because they exactly know what's happening and my boss is scumbag and he and he lied me straight away. Sorry for my French. But I'm angry. So yeah, on the end of the day, they don't give me the address. They give the fella who was with me on the lorry, and he gonna he tell me like I'm gonna tell you how to drive. So I just grab his phone, take the address from him. Um, yeah, I tell you, bring the stuff there. I send the address to Gemma. But that was Thursday, and if they are if they cooperate with them, right now the stuff can be everywhere. Um, Is that normal? No. It's You've never, never experienced that, that before? That was never happened before. That was never happened before. Normally, usually we got a place from where we took it on the papers and place where we where we take it. Uh, yeah, so everything should be on the papers straight away. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not really dealing with papers because I'm, I'm just the driver. The, bo the boys was dealing with papers, but there was actually also surprise. But like I say, my boss telling us like like she's gonna have the access for that. And that was a big lie on the end of the story, so okay. What's going on officers? Are we taking this house back or what? Are we working for the people or what? Or are we work, working for the working for these foreign criminals? Hey, in the banks. Hey. Yeah, we've got all the evidence that this is all fraud. Everything. Right, we've got the law. We've got the law. All right. All right. We've got the law to confirm this is all fraud. All right, so we're going to investigate this, are we, please? Are we going to investigate it? Are we going to investigate this, are we? And police are going to be a week and trying to get kids in the house, isn't it? Yeah. A week? It's PC779777, Tesla Labs and Police Station. Thank you very much. All right. We need to start doing something about this. This pure fraud. People are getting taken out of the homes and homes still stolen by the banks and users protecting these scumbags. We've got all the evidence that this is all fraud. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I ask one favour? Can I just go back to doing what I was doing, dealing with these people? Then I'll just think about it. Is that fair yeah. enough? If you come yeah. back and have a chat, I'm happy to have a chat with you. More, more than, than happy to. Yeah. Think yeah. about it if you Let's just get yeah. him out of the way. I've got kids. Yeah, so yeah. imagine if this were happening to you and your kids. Go oh, ahead, leave them, leave them be. This fella. Poor kids, man, poor kids. It's not on. This can't go on. Can't go on because you, you know, you are protecting them. You are protecting these scumbags. South Yorkshire Police assisted that, and then we've got evidence of everything. Multiple video evidence and all. As soon as the people wake up, we're just going to yeah. fuck them over. Stealing houses from auction house. I can fully provide the uh, names of the companies. I don't care because I lost my job anyway. So. Do you want to name the company now? Uh, yeah, one of them when I was working, that is Express Movers, he's Potter Bars. 
And the second one, I can't remember, probably, Gemma, I don't know if you know the name of the second. Bryce Lens, is it? Bryce Lens, yeah, I've got the address on my, on my Google Maps. How much money and resources will this overall matter have cost to date, which includes a whole lot of corporations, from banks to police? There has been many people talked about in these matters to date, as follows. Mr Paul Thwaite of National Westminster Bank. Mr John Wood of Trump's and Lawrence Tuckett's, more commonly known as TLT LLP. Mr. Andrew William Rowe of Cerberus, which in Greek mythology, Cerberus is often referred to as the Hound of Hades, a multi-headed dog that guards the gates of the underworld to prevent the dead from leaving. A highly paid court enforcement officer, Mr. Ashley Martin Naylor, the man seen with a bump on his head who did not need an ambulance, when he was effectively thrown out of a property he allegedly unlawfully went into before the people threw him back out by the way he entered. Oh, you know, look what the police are doing. Oh, oh. That's not peaceful entry. The police need to stop in. Two, two, six, three. You need to do your job quickly. He is currently an enforcement officer with Wilson and Rowe. Mr. Andrew Edwin John Marsh, the lock father, who is seen here dressing up like Batman to intimidate people with his big black key. Mr. Alfred Morris Davis of Orbis Protect, the security service who either employed or subcontracted the security you see in this video. Mr. Graham Robert Dennis of Dennis Brothers, the ones who appear to be hiding Gemma's possessions linked to Orbis Protect. Mr. Graham Martin Pritchard, the cunt rewired property services director. Finally, for now, Mr. Ben Julian Harrington of Essex Police, or BJ as his wife calls him. BJ was brought up in North London and educated at St. Ignatius College in Enfield. Or is it pronounced St. Ignatius? Let's have a brief look at the place where he was educated, for this is a man deemed a key figurehead, also known as BJ. BJ started policing when he joined the Metropolitan Police Service in 1990, in what was then the Chingford and Waltham Store Division of North East London. With all these corporations mentioned, how many will regret being involved with this matter at a later date? Was you told to clear it at the beginning, to clear uh, the house? Yeah, but, but we were sure like we go to normal job, like someone moving from here to some other place. Like, I wasn't aware about the Baileys and all of that stuff was going on here. Uh, to the moment when we get here to the place, yeah. On that moment we we saw what's happening. And like I said, I did the job only because my boss told me like Gemma get the access to the stuff. And I was believed here now, I was an idiot. Because I, I don't see it on the paper and I should start thinking before. Like, if it's not on the paper, probably she's not gonna have the access. But I try trust my boss. And yeah, on the end of the story, he just lied me. So it is what it is. Okay. So well, can you say to the people watching this in your own words? I'll come to you in a minute. Uh, then I really wanna hear my own words because I'm really pissed about the situation. So I, I don't know how, how people can do it like that. Like, my boss is also f somewhere from ar around Harlow. Uh, Can I just ask you then, very briefly, the security here, Yeah. were some of them here on the day that you... Yeah, most of them. And did you have any interactions with them yourself? Uh, yeah, I've got on the day, yeah. And how did that go for you? Uh, that wasn't go well, because any question what we're asking, they don't want to answer. Nothing. They don't want to answer who is in charge, they don't want to give us the name, they don't want to tell us who they're working for, name of company. They don't want to tell us nothing, and I feel like an idiot, because on that moment I should show them finger and tell them I don't take nothing. But then I spoke with Gemma, and even Gemma said, like, maybe it's better if they start going out from here, if she got the access, because when we pack in and we put it somewhere on the storage, the stuff gonna be safe. When it's here with them, they can destroy it, because I saw how they acting inside when we was packing. There was open the uh, cabinets on the kitchen, they take the cups, there was partying on the living room, basically. So, yeah, on the middle of the day, I just tell them to, sorry, my friends, to get a fuck out from the couches, because it's not them, so they kick me out from the house, because they wanna sit there and partying. So, yeah, that, that exactly what happened. So from the half day I was banned from the house, I cannot go in there. Uh, because I was speak with them straight away and I was telling them what I think and they don't like it. So can, that exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah, can I just say that the security is actually recording you saying this now behind me? Yeah, they record me, I got no problem with that, they can record. So you could actually do a data subject access request now to get a copy of that, do you know that? Say again? A data subject access request to their data controller and get a copy of that. You can get that off them because they're recording you while they're working. Uh, right now, you mean? Or... Well, you can ask them for the data subject access. I can, but they're not going to give me nothing, like I say. NAC. You can ask them for the name of the data controller, and they have to give you it by law. For the what? Data controller. Because data controller. Yeah, yeah. Data controller. 
if you're asking that? for the data controller's name, they have to give it you by law. Who is that? It's the, their bosses, whoever controls the data from their mobile phones. So if you ask so him, boys, who is in charge here right now? Can I speak so with So this someone? gentleman, he'll have a data controller because he's working and he's video recording. All right, and what is the data? Data cont controller, you just need his name, then you can obviously request a copy. Yeah, so can I have your boss name? You see? He's actually he's, he's denying I know, they, in front. They know exactly he's with the law. The police officers witnessed that behind. Yeah. So what are the police officers going to do about that? I'm not here. You're here, I'm right now. I'm not here, it's up to him. What company do you work for? It's not for? up to him, it's up to law. What company do you work for? I work for Orbis. Orbis, Orbis. Orbis, OK. So if you request it off Orbis, then put them an email through, OK? Just wait, Orbis, wait, yeah. Find data controller, and then they, they should give that to you, OK? OK. Thank you, because I even don't know it. Yeah, there you go. I mean, he has to look after that copy now. He can't put it on the internet or anything, or else that'll be a GDPR breach, and you can sue him for thousands. That was Orbis, yeah? Orbis, yes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it later, and I definitely send a request to them about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so but like there's I say, a, there's a number on the on the fence, mate. Yeah, if you get the number okay. off the fence. So, so Gemma, obviously you've heard at the door in front of the security. Yeah. Shocking. Yeah. I didn't know that the driver actually got treated like that. Yeah, well, he did actually. That Alex squared up to him and nearly wanted a fight with him. Um, did he? I think he, that's just what he likes doing. Maybe that's why he's in security because he thinks that he can abuse his powers and fight with people. Because he actually assaulted me today. He threw me to the floor earlier. I've got a mark on my hand. Um, so yeah, he's actually assaulted me. I've told the police and they've obviously not done anything. But Trevor, who didn't do anything, apparently he got he assaulted someone and he's been arrested. But it's two tier, isn't it? So they they assault. They don't get nothing done. Yeah. One of ours don't do anything, and someone told them they're sorted, and they get taken away. So you've made an allegation against this man here, yeah. And with the police are not doing anything, is that what you're saying? Well, they've taken details. And they said they'll give me. T they're going to look into it in 28 days. Up to 28 days, they've got to get back okay. to me. Okay. All right. Okay. And also, I've got 10. If you see the notice, it says 10 days that I can get my stuff. I've tried everything. Hang on. I rung them. I will tell you, they gave me 10 minutes that they was going to ring me back. That was at 12:15. Give me 10 minutes. We'll ring you back. It's half 12. Nothing. That's 15 minutes and they still haven't got back to me. They won't get back to me because every time I contact them, they say they'll get back to me. It's just a crime. It's just covering up crime after crime after crime. They've stolen my property and they won't give it back. And obviously, like you know, he keep, they keep changing the delivery to know where it's going so that I can't find out where my stuff is. Exactly. That's calculated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they've done it on purpose. They know exactly what they're doing. So, that's actually so all of my life belongings have been stolen. These know where it is. They've stolen it. They've authorised the stealing of my property, which is a crime. Theft is a crime. Yeah. Yet yeah, nothing's being done. So it is actually going. I've got legal proceedings going at the moment through the court. Yeah, I know. Um, for the police for letting them do what they've done. The bailiffs and the um, security company now are all having legal proceedings against all of them. OK, I'll just get a shot of that uh, notice, as you say. Even says it on their own. Let's get, a, let's get another shot of that notice, just a square on. Thank you. Have you heard some of the allegations that's been made today? You would like to comment? Me? Yeah, yeah. I think to comment, mate. If, if you want to have a freedom of speech, freedom of expression, it's your right. Thank you so much. Just finally then, police officers, Queen Road Justice and Courts Act 2015, Section 26, are you aware of that? Police officers assisting in these matters, assisting, can get up to 14 years, a fine, or both. And what happened to Gemma on that day, uh, what and the police didn't help. Nope, didn't help. They stood by and let your daughter, chainsaw 16 year old daughter, in on her own. They chainsawed my door. The police stood there and allowed them to do it <coughs> and didn't even assist. They all they kept saying to me, I said, I've rung the call, I've had it on loudspeaker to prove that it was not a high court writ and <coughs> um, there's no possession order. They even the court admitted it, yet they've allowed them to break into my house with an illegal, fraudulent <coughs> instrument and let the security take my house. And all you wanted to know from the bank was, prove that I owe you money. Yeah, exactly. I've never refused and to pay any money. And how can you ignore that? Exactly, yet yeah, these criminals are all working together to help each other to steal people's houses. Do you think all these people may not know about this? Oh, them? they don't know, but, it's, but then it's, their, it's in their interest to research, to know what's going on right now. Exactly, yeah.
If they don't, oh, I, I understand, like, but then ignorance of the law is no excuse. If you the don't know the law, is how much money police got paid for that. Would, would you say because they've been employed by the companies through the banks, it's exactly. all joint enterprise? They're all working together, all of them. They're all in on it. Well, yeah. we'll see how it goes. Yeah. There are some good cops, there's some good security, but there's some bad cops and bad security. There are good cops who make bad decisions and didn't mean to. No, they are not good cops who make bad, uh, bad well, decisions. Man. I, I do think no, there are no, some to, good no, cops. Not on situation like that, because they know exactly this is theft. They know exactly you cannot come into someone's house and change the doors, and they were staying here, looking on that, and let them do it. So actually, my question is how much they got paid for that. Well, that, that's nothing. If they'd done something right, why did actually Mark Naylor, the um, enforcement officer that goes up and down the country stealing people's houses, put um, tape on my doorbell before he decided to chainsaw my door? Because he knew. I've, I've seen the video. Can I just ask you, there was a security officer sat on your daughter's bed. Yes. Who took up, who switched on the security camera. And smiled at And me. smiled at the camera, sat on your daughter's bed. Yeah. That, that's the shocking footage. Yeah. Yes. Have you seen that? This one that was on my doorbell. He's the one that decided to sit on my daughter's bed. Do you want me to rise? What? Do you want me to smile or what? No, well you did on the camera, didn't you, on my doorbell? Okay, listen, it's, it's... You're scum, that's what you are, all of you. That's the shocking footage. Yes. Have you seen that? No. I, I, it's going to come out in the video. No, it, seriously, it's shocking. Funny, they shouldn't man. do that. You're a loser. Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah, absolutely loser, man. I don't tell people what to do. They do it themselves. <coughs> you know, the people have to be held to account. Man, what do you do? You just instigate them. That's what you do. No. It's just my opinion then, OK? Well, we'll leave it at my opinion. Happened, man. You instigate it. That's what you Did do. I instigate you this? This security operative is sat on Gemma's daughter's bed. He is seen taking off the sticky tape that Ashley Martin Naylor put on the ring doorbell just moments before they gained unlawful entry with excessive force. Ah, knows, mate. <laughs> Smart person, you should just try to help, not instigate. Okay? Can I just ask you one question? No, mate, you can't ask me. Anything. I'll ask you anyway. No, I, don't want to ask. I just want to say to you, That's I may be stupid, thing. but I'm not a criminal. No, man, you're just putting words into people. You're like leading <laughs> questions. You know, just, just do. Make yeah, look at him. Useful. He's help proud us. of his Yeah, but help he loves everybody. It. I'm yeah. trying to help everybody. I'm trying to expose the banks. The people that you work for, that's why you're here, because of the bank. They wouldn't produce a document to prove that showed the money. You're not being told what's going on. Look, he's proud of himself, man. He's proud of being a loser. Final words. Yeah. I don't think they had any words. I'm proud of you, yeah? I'm telling something. I'm proud of you. Let's say we ask you to know the law. Sorry? Let's say we don't know the law. You don't know, you don't know the law. I said, let's say we don't know the law. But these gentlemen, they are police officers. Yes, they know the law. That's right or no? Can I just say something to you? Yeah? No, no, but I'm asking. That's yeah, no. right or no? The, the, some of them do know some of the law, but not all of the but law. But they have more high people. No comment. Man. Don't worry, it's not a pace interview. No it's not a pace. Thank you. No it's not pace, is it? No, it's not pace. someone else. All right, we'll take care then. That's what I can say. Yeah, go inside, play your. And, and just finally, with regards to uh, good police officers, I just want to say to you because that's my belief. Yeah. I have seen a lot of bad police officers yeah. as well. So maybe the bad police officers turned up at Gemma's house on that day. Uh, there are most of the police on this country. They are bad police officers. I know exactly because I feel it a few years ago. I feel it on my own as to what's been corruption on this on this country. So most of them, they are just bad officers and officers who don't see the bad officers which make them also bad officers so actually all of them are bad officers okay. that is what i'm thinking because they was here they knew exactly changing someone's door without papers is crime and they were staying smiling and let them do that so there was no good officers here okay, my okay. question is still same how much they got paid for it or the they officers. just do it yeah the police officers yeah exactly or they just do it because they like it or they just like uh, allow the crimes. Or are they being misused? When I speak by the right now, higher echelon, he's smiling. Like that probably was some nice paycheck for them. Is it possible the police are being misused by the higher echelon? Because obviously they've got to follow the inspectors. What do you mean misused? Like for instance, you know they're here to serve the people. Yeah. And for, you know crimes, detecting so, like, crime, they... preventing crime. So if they're told to do something, can you question it? If your inspector tells you to do something. Factually, it's an order. 
It's an order. It's a discipline service, it's an order. So, so if you know it's bad, if you don't order, you're our, gonna do it anyway. But what I will say is our powers are our powers and they're our decision to use whether <laughs> we want to use our powers or not. Someone can't make us use our powers. Okay. So if your inspector told you to do something and you thought that's, that was wrong. Like I said, that's that's just factually. Obviously I'm not gonna put my opinion to that. Okay. I would so like to think you'd question your inspector. If you haven't got enough evidence to reasonably suspect something of yourself, that's your duty to understand that, isn't it? Exactly. Like I said, I've told you factually, but I'm not going to put my... By the way, I'm not a police officer. Yes, we know you're I, a I gathered. I gathered. A I'm no longer security. Do you know why I give it up? Yeah, why? I don't like where the system's going. I got out. Very briefly, we've just come back from the house. Yeah. Shocking events. Obviously, going forward now, you've got court matters in court. Yeah. What's happening? Well... After she was violently evicted last Thursday, um, we put an application together to go to court to get a, an immediate injunction to get her reinstated back into her property because of the criminality and the way that they violently evicted her from the house, uh, which is all in a, an application. Um, on the night before we went to the court, we found out that Gemma's house had been put up for auction, so it was stolen on the Thursday and was put up for auction on the Wednesday, third. I was up late to readjust the application to then include that to get uh, to stop the sale of the property, to get an injunction against the sale of the property. Uh, me and Gemma went up to the Royal Courts of Justice, went before Ed Miliband's wife, um, Lady um, Dame, sorry, Dame um, Thornton, uh, on an urgent King's Bench application. Um, prior to that, because we got the issue, the application sealed, we notified all parties of the application on foot. Uh, it was withdrawn from the auction prior to the hearing. The application we put in wasn't successful because we didn't have enough uh, evidence of the violence to secure entry um, because it was virtually hearsay. And, 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 and to give her a due, um, I have to tend to agree with, um, with Dame Thornton on the evidence that she was provided. Uh, however, she did make it clear that because Gemma never had a claim in, it made it a bit difficult. So it was a bit rushed trying to stop the auction and get the injunction. So we went about way back to the drawing boards, got another application. Um, now this this is turned, this this time it's completely changed. Uh, where now we put a, a damages claim in. Gemma's put a damages claim in against all parties that are involved in this violent eviction, the police assisting, etc., uh, etc. Et so that that application was on foot and it was um, submitted into the court uh, at 4:33 on Friday. As soon as that was submitted to the court, all parties have been notified of all, all the defendants because they're all complicit. Right away from the top, you've got NatWest Bank, you've got TLT, you've got Cerberus, uh, which is the parent company of Wilson and Rowe. You've got Wilson and Rowe, Ashley Mark Naylor as a defendant. Uh, you've then got um, Orbis Security. Um, you've then also got the removal company. Um, I've got the papers on me. There's, there's nine defendants. Uh, so Essex Police being one of them. So all of that application is, is actually in the court, in the Royal Courts of Justice now. So on the basis of that, the, um, everything should be stayed. There shouldn't be any more proceedings because Gemma's got a higher claim against them for the damages for what they've done. And in part of that application is, is, uh, is an injunction to stop the sale of the property. Um, they knew we was coming today. Uh, there's leaks, we've got infiltrators, uh, rapid response groups. Um, we can't point the finger, say where it is, uh, until you're 100% sure. But they was ready for us. The police were here. Someone set up a, a meeting point at this location uh, before anyone had even decided whether it was going to be Saturday, Sunday, what day we were going to do it. The person who set the group up has then since disappeared and set someone else up. Um, so I, I believe that this was uh, planning for us. Yesterday it was free security. Today, as you've probably seen, you've seen in some of the other live streams and what you'll see in this video, uh, there was 20 plus uh, military. Now these guys, uh, I was physically um, got thrown out, been done in the guts. Um, Right in front of the police, police done nothing. There's a guy called Alex, the head security bloke there. I was standing there and he went, said to the guys inside the house, get the knives, get the knives. Uh, so these are, these, are, these are violent individuals. I'd like to see his criminal record uh, of this individual. Um, whether they're trained parallel militaries or where they've come from, what nationality, uh, we don't know. But certainly one, one thing is for sure today, what we've witnessed is the two-tier policing.